Mrs. Flanagan, Mrs. Tobin. Hi, Hi, Mr. Sammons. Good. How are you guys doing? Good. Good. Hey. How do you think? Well, it's pretty good, good, but I'm kind of in a bind here. Uh-oh. It's time for Read a Million Minutes. Oh! Yay! I love yeah. Read a Million Minutes. Yeah. Wasn't that hilarious oh. last year when you danced with your yeah. dog? It was so funny. <laughs> Loved it. Yeah, well, I, I'm really glad that you that you were able to bring that back up. Um, so we need to get some books oh, for okay. a bunch of kids out here. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking maybe I could just check on my iPod for some good titles of books. Yeah, and I have an iPad we can look at too. Oh, that'd an be fun. iPad? Okay. Well, I could just look on the iMac. Oh yeah. That's yeah. a good idea. Hmm. Uh, well, you know, guys, we are in a library. I suppose we could look out. Yeah, there are a lot of books out there. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Since I'm the third grade teacher, I'm pretty sure I can probably pick the best books out here to bring to the kids for Read a Million Minutes. Uh, right. I'm the one that works here every day. I know these books like the back of my hand. I'm thinking I could find the best books. Guys. Guys, I am the librarian. I think I can find the best books ever. Well, that kind of sounds like a challenge, Mrs. Flanagan. You're on. Let's go. <laughs> Let's Ready, do it. Ready, set, set, go. books yeah. like the picture book of Helen Keller and I read graphic novels I knew I would win hey well I love graphic novels too and I read poetry mm -hmm. <laughs> I read poetry yeah I got it and I got nonfiction which the kids love <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time to tell the kids what they're going to be reading for Read a Million Minutes. 
The theme this, this year is... What did your social studies book tell you about the Civil War? Didn't tell me anything. I had to read the whole thing. Yes! Hey, what's the difference between a dog and a basketball player? I don't know. One drools and one dribbles. <laughs> Why did the librarian slip and fall on the library floor? I don't know. Why? Because she was in the middle on friction section. <laughs> Someone once told me a person gets hit by a car every 30 seconds in New York City. Oh my gosh, I bet he's getting tired of that. Oh, good one, good one. If the cold wind blows, what does the book put on? Hmm, a hat? No, a jacket. <laughs> hey, which building in town has the most stories? I don't know. The library, of course. Oh! Knock, knock. Who's there? Winnie. Winnie who? When are you going to bring that overdue book back? Oh, this is Sarek. Come on in. This is Closer. Come join us. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's Neil Armstrong. Abraham Lincoln. Oh, we're gonna sit. Man, Mrs. Stroud, I am just looking for a good book. Yeah, I haven't read any good biographies lately, have you? No. I don't know. Actually, there's a whole bunch of books about outer space and me, Neil Armstrong. And how about my life story, Abraham Lincoln? What are you guys doing here? How did you get here? Well, we're here because every time somebody digs into a good biography book, we come alive. Thanks for helping. I can't wait to go find a good biography now. Yeah, those were some good suggestions. Well, we better head out. I hear uh, Beauty and the Beast 3D is playing. Yeah, at Ford's Theater. Let's go catch it. Let's go. See you See later. Ya. They left their books here. Yummy hot cocoa. I'm gonna stick a marshmallow in there. Ooh, that sounds good. Hey, you know what? I've been looking through some of these Guinness World Records. The kids love these books. They just think these are the most terrific things, seeing all these weird records. Look at this one. Most straws in the mouth. Ooh. I have an idea. She's got. Let's see how many marshmallows you can put in your mouth. I can do that. That'll be easy. Get pumped up, ready? Okay, here we go, Marks. <laughs> Get set. <laughs> go. lots of different books, but I'm sure finding that the fifth graders are loving these graphic novels. Do you find that too? Absolutely. They do. They, I've had a lot of them take AR tests on 
the graphic novels. They yeah. do like those. They tend to have some humor and so much adventure. Mm -hmm. I agree. They really have gone wild about those. Hey, we have a lot of adventures in fifth grade. Somebody should write a graphic novel about our fifth grade adventures. Wouldn't that be fun? Oh, that would be awesome. I bet they'd sell a million of them. I bet they would too. <laughs>